Peace. Rise and shine, family. I want to send my love and light from the soul to my people. All right. I know most of my people think I'm fucking nuts, but um, <laughs> it's okay. It's fine. Uh, do your research and I won't seem nuts, you know, anymore. Um, because this fucking sick system that I always talk about, the Matrix, you know, um, has a lot of us out of order with, you know, the way we were designed. So I'm not going to go too deep. I want to always talk about the catacombs because people always hear me talk about the catacombs in Germany and Rome and and this class is just for that, the Matrix Wisdom. So um, it says uh, over 2,000 ancient tunnels discovered, yet no one who knows who built them and why. I do, <laughs> but I'm not going to go into my theory on who built them. We're going to listen to what um, Matrix Wisdom talks about and see how deep they go. And I hope I, I should be able to post it, but because it's not you know nothing bad or nothing new so please don't fucking block my um this little short class i'm not even going to do the whole thing one time for the one time if you are intrigued by the subject of ancient human made tunnels then this video is for you, there you while go. there are various kinds of subterranean tunnels under the earth and they are all mysterious in their own way, the Ed style might just be the most mysterious of all. Because of the scarcity of modern investigations, you shit. may not even have heard of them. Yet, they are not in short supply. Oh, shit. Scattered around Europe, particularly in Germany, Austria, and the Czech Republic, more than 2,000 of these passageways are known to exist. Others have also been found in France, Spain, See? And even as far afield as Ireland and Scotland. See? Some have been damaged by road workers who often so stumble they, they across these things. Nobody think I'm, I'll be bugging when I talk about the catacombs. catacombs. Still, 90% yeah. of the catacombs are believed to be intact. Intriguingly, many experts believe there are still many more to be discovered. What? In Bavaria, Germany's oldest and the largest Many state, more. the ground is literally perforated with 700 of these tunnel networks. Wow. But, strangely, there is almost no archaeological material to be found in these tunnels. We are also lacking any documents that might have explained why they were built, why most face north, why they were sealed, why they were tiny, etc. Wow. Perhaps just Why as they were tiny is the fact that hundreds of these underground they face tunnels north? have only one point of entry and exit. Hence, they lead absolutely no Santa way. Claus, anybody? While these tunnels <laughs> might remind some of the Cold Chi tunnels in Fucking Saigon, north. Vietnam, for reasons that will soon become obvious, these tunnels have no relation to those of Vietnam oh. and were not used yeah. in the same manner. Earth stars, which translates as a place under the earth, have numerous unique features that distinguish them from other passageways around the world. For example, they are carved into a smooth, ovular shape. Their size is also highly unusual. They are very narrow, usually with a width of no more than two feet. Oh, shit. Their height Damn. isn't exactly roomy either. They got to be like leprechauns. Three to four feet. Their length does vary. The to shortest fit enough is around motherfucking 65 feet long, tunnels. while the most extended stretches to 160 feet. As if they were not claustrophobic enough already, some become even more narrow as they progress. Wow. However, it is also notable that these types appear to have been narrowed after they were initially created. But just why anyone would carve a tunnel and then artificially narrow it defies explanation. Many tunnels lead to much larger chambers, sometimes with carved chairs. These rooms are known as Schlusskammer, or the final chamber. Priest Lambert Karner, a pioneer of Erdstahl exploration, crawled through 400 of these tunnels with only a flickering candle. Wow. Some of these Erdstahl passageways are pretty elaborate, and in some cases feature multiple levels and several offshoots. But to navigate through these multi-level tunnels, one would need to be either small, non-adult, or a contortionist. For example, reaching the upper level involves oh, falling shit. through a narrow gap, 
Then somehow standing up and finally squeezing about that through too. a small hole barely 16 inches in diameter. I love my These spirits. small hole features which connect lower tunnels to higher tunnels are called schlupfs or slipouts in English. Sloops, Many slip air stars have wider sealed off chutes and corridors leading to the surface, closed with a They can slip plate. in and slip out. Austrian folklore contends that goblins built them. Others believe they were created by ancient people as way stations for spirits in their passage to the underworld, or as dwellings for small mythical creatures like dwarves, goblins, or elves. Oh, While shit! Others believe <laughs> Did I say They elves? were prisons for demons, evil gnomes, oh, and the undead. One particular known Erd style is called Strazzo, a Bavarian word for some type of Santa Claus. believed to help farm workers in the Middle Ages. Even in Christianized Europe, belief in spirits and such never really went away, despite church opposition. Now I see why. <laughs> it seems nothing about these tunnels is as expected. Yo, this fucking matrix is a motherfucker. <laughs> can be found in all manner of unusual places. Oh, shit. They have turned up in forests, old settlements, cemeteries, churches, deep in the wilderness, and in churches? As strange as it sounds, sometimes even in the kitchens of old farmhouses. What the archaeological evidence is scarce, and on those rare occasions when the tunnels have been thoroughly examined, they mostly contain nothing. No artifacts, no food, no human remains, no tracks, nothing. Therefore, dating these mysterious passageways has not been easy. Uh, Some suggest they were made in the Middle Ages, others the Stone Age. The, the stone only age. clear fact that shines out of these tunnels so they is that men. their makers were highly skilled tunnelers. Using wedge-shaped people and without supporting planks, Salute they to excavated the cave thousands of tunnels out of rock, somehow leaving their some surfaces, shit. corners and edges, looking as though they have been sanded down. Even Almost though I don't think they were like us, but Austrian scientists Heinrich and Ingrid Kusch, kind of who dedicated they have? their Shit. lives to finding out about Erdstaller, believe these tunnels would be practically impossible to make today without modern machinery. Wow. It's a bird. It's a plane. Salute, man. It's, it's Mrs. Papa. Uh, that was cool. Uh, so it would be practically impossible to make today oh, we still got a couple modern more. machinery. More. In a pre-industrial era, this feat must have required an immense amount of patience and effort. And even at now. Clearly, these tunnels were used for something of importance. But what was it that was so important? There are several interesting theories. Given that they are below flood level, one theory suggests they were intentionally used for water storage. However, there are multiple things well. wrong with this approach. Some examples. The benches for sitting indicate they were probably not used for water storage. Also, why would they have elaborate systems that go up and down? Additionally, Bavarians and many other places where egg stars are found do not precisely need to store water. There are rivers and smaller streams absolutely everywhere all year round. No need to painfully dig long, Ooh. narrow tunnels for that. This also, hole's right here. if they Strong. were to collect oh. rainwater, why hide Guess the entrance? What? They got sometimes and in the middle of nowhere. Thing. Some researchers yeah. have indicated they were built for protection as hiding places. It sounds like a good explanation at first, but there are too many details that contradict this hypothesis. For example, the solitary entrance does pose a problem here, because if discovered, it seems a fire at the entrance would make short work of those inside. Wow. It has been proposed that due to their size, potential enemies would struggle to fit into the tunnels. However, they overlook the fact that if enemies knew people were in the Ed Star, they were doomed anyway due to lack of oxygen. If wow. the Ed Stars were hiding places, it's impossible to believe nothing was left behind, such as food or other signs of habitation. Wow, that's beautiful. It's just learning this kind of stuff. So one time for the one time. Shout out to Matrix Wisdom. Go check that page out. And I'll catch you guys later.